This is back upstairs talking about what we just did. When it rocks, it sure it does sure it. Does it. See, nobody knows what's going on. When it rocks, it sure does it, sure. Uh, I'll tell you, it was, uh, uh, from the second verse out, I think it was pretty good, except for that one little bloop that you made. Which bloop? Oh, the plan, yeah. little plans, but uh, you get two in back there? Well, yeah. It's the general feel. Harry, don't smoke those. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Uh, I stayed home yesterday, you know. I got a phone call for you. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I got a great choice. No, no, I'm entering. <laughs> Have you been smoking more now and enjoying it less? Mm. That's for sure. Switch from hops to St. Moritz. I don't like smoking too much. Well, oh, they don't like cameras. It gets easier after a while, you know, you get used to the camera. But at the beginning, we were, I was very nervous. But she was, you could see, look at those eyes, you know. There's nerves. And a hangover. Well, you dig a long time, aren't you? Do you Just as well be happy. You always sit at the back of the coach. Nearly always. <laughs> Noisy lot. <laughs> you always sit in the back of the coach. <laughs> well, 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 these people are. It's like a Martian. A uh, good old spaceman. Bang, bang, shoot destiny. So happens Elton John had a rocket man at the same time. Didn't know about that. <laughs> on this track uh, the brilliant drumming of Ringo he's like uh, when there was a hesitation he just bust his way through you know he's like uh, thunder you know strong and straight and he and Jim Kelvin play together it's like uh, they call themselves thunder and lightning you know the two best drummers playing together in the history of the world we originally wanted to suspend Harry over the orchestra with invisible wires as a visual to this song several good takes and it's the kind of thing where if there's a great second verse that can be used as the first verse of is uncle richard uh yeah uh harry don't smoke so much how about some tea oh. i'd prefer a sandwich and uh, how about a little tea yeah coffee this is what really happens making an album folks One more. some tea there's the tea boy of the month in england it's really nice you know yes i just said so got one don't mind if i do thank you <laughs> they have a, a guy called a tea boy I tried in studios. He does nothing but serve you tea and help you out to make it a little easier for you. And it does, it helps too, you know, you get, uh, it's like, you know, somebody's trying to make it easier for you and that always makes it better. I think we picked in take 49. Was that the one we heard about really, two hours back? No, 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 that was the one, that was the last one we heard. This is called the Lottery Song. And this, that's the real Richard right there. And I was just introducing the song to the players so they could hear it for the first time to get an idea of how to do it. We ended up doing it with guitars. You can take the laundry, I'll come by on Monday. You give me your money, I will buy a ticket. On the local lottery, we could win. So they're aware of two things now. One is listening to the song, the other one is the camera. And be very happy. And I'm aware of two things too, trying to remember the song which wasn't quite finished, and the camera, and also the fact that the band <laughs> is just looking at me, you know. We could burn a tama. We could burn a tama. Buy a trailer, we could go to Vegas. We could, we could buy a trailer. That's me and Ken Scott, the engineer. While he's doing that, Ken and I are working out the sounds up in the control room. And this, folks, is how a record is made. I 
think I had written this song about uh, a day before and I was still, you know, figuring it, figuring it out. Then I have a pizza to fix. This guy's name is Tom. He's great. He has a wooden leg that squeaks. This particular song, called, remember, we decided to do it with just Nicky Hopkins, the piano player, and myself. He's a great piano player, and he's trying to accompany me, and I'm not used to, like, being accompanied. So, <laughs> you can hear us both waiting for each other, you know? Nice pair of eyes. thing about recording together you get to be friends real fast you know and we've maintained all our friendships and they've stayed together for like well, we've done like four albums since this one you know and we've become sort of like a band in a way you know i've never been in a band but this is the closest thing to it and you really learn to love everybody you know it's the safest place in the world to be is in a studio because it's all good vibes something to do and it's all pleasant it's just singing and music and listening and create something, you know. Everybody does their best. Sometimes it comes out not as well as you'd like, you know. But this came out pretty good. Nicky's a very shy human being and he's very talented. He's seen a lot more beauty than most people have on earth. And he's very into what he does. And he's very shy and retiring. I'm more of an extrovert, you know, when I'm with my friends, but uh, in public situations I get scared because I think that that won't match up with the real me and I'm always afraid that I'm not being me, you know. These people don't worry anymore, they've got little left to lose. And they know it, and that's what makes them smile all the time, you know, you'll see later on when they're singing the song, uh, <laughs> it's a sad one. She was a little scared. see this or hear this I think of those people and what they remembered and what I remember I remember very little of the album but there's certain moments you keep with you you know see him look to me and I was waiting for him I was sharp there he anticipated see in the sequence Tom his name was with the wooden leg at the end of our sessions he said it was really a pleasure I like to come back and uh, Richard Perry says oh well you, uh, you're welcome to uh, uh, join us on the next album uh, Tom if you like he said okay if I'm alive I love a sweet old man he was uh, 84 or just about that was 85th birthday at the time a couple of heads I like that shot If I'm alive.